So today we are revising RL and RC, high pass filters and low pass filters. These filters will be very basic. We are just discussing about the first order RC low and high pass filters. Before starting that, we should know about the filters, which are the electrical circuits capable of generating desired output based on the applied input frequencies. So whenever we are starting filter, we should know about the transfer function and other parameters. The very basic thing is the impedance when we are having the capacitor across any circuits. So for capacitive impedance, the formula is described by the term Zc, which will be 1 upon j into omega c. Or we can also represent in terms of minus j upon omega c. For inductors, the inductive impedance can be described by term ZL, which is j into omega into L. The next part will be your description of transfer function. So for filter circuits, the transfer function is generally the ratio of output upon the input term and it is described by term H of omega. Omega is again angular frequency. So first we are starting with RC filters. Suppose we are taking one example of a basic RC filter in which we are having first resistance and second there is one capacitance. Here the output is taken across the capacitor and we are having input across this terminal that is B input. Now for finding the filter type or finding transfer function, the very basic thing is first we have to start with the transfer function part which will be the ratio of V output upon V input. For frequency dependent output, we can also represent it as V of J omega divided by V of input in terms of J omega, it is output. So here we can see that we are finding the output across capacitor. So in that case, we can represent transfer function as the ratio of Vc that is drop across capacitor because this V output will be equal to Vc and the here V input which can be related as the drop across resistance plus drop across capacitance again. So when we are representing the response in terms of omega, it can be represented as 1 upon J omega or for better clarity, we can use here Zc upon R plus Zc. So here Zc is 1 upon J omega C. It will be R plus 1 upon J omega C. Now when we divide numerator and denominator by 1 upon j omega c, we will be getting 1 upon r j omega c plus 1. So the finalized transfer function is now h omega, this is equals to 1 upon 1 plus r j omega into c. Now first task is to find out the filter type using this transfer function. So whenever we are finding the filter type, we have to take two conditions. One con first condition is lower frequency which is represented by omega equals to 0 for omega equals to 0 we can see this transfer function is giving you output as 1 for omega equals to infinite this transfer function is giving you value as 0 so we can see that for lower frequency for omega equals to 0 we are getting transfer function as what since transfer function is ratio of output upon input for omega equals to infinite we are getting transfer function as 0 so this is the simplest example of your RC low pass filter. Since it is filtering the lower frequency and it is blocking the higher frequencies value that is omega equals to infinite in this case. Next part is once we have obtained the transfer function, once we obtained the filter type, next target is to find out the cutoff frequency of any RC filters. So for finding cutoff frequency, we have to first consider the amplitude should be equals to 1 upon root 2 which is equals to 0 0.707. This value comes from the fact that that is half power delivered across load. So when we are considering that minimum half power should be delivered across the load, we have to take this into point that the transfer function value the amplitude value must be equals to 1 upon another 2. This value must be nearly equals to 0 0.707. Or we can say that whenever we are having 
filter operating at cutoff frequency it will be having 70.7 percent of amplitude transferred across the output now when we are taking the amplitude of this portion it will be simply so amplitude of h omega it should be equals to 1 upon 1 plus r square omega square c square in under root form this value is already equals to 1 upon root 2 so this value is 1 plus r square omega square into c square so those who don't know about how to find out the amplitude of this part so just remember whenever we are having any imaginary number suppose a plus ib is a complex number where b is imaginary coefficient and a is the real coefficient the amplitude of this term can be given as under root a square plus b square the same we are following here now just square both the sides and by doing cross multiplication we can say that we are obtaining omega value equals to 1 upon r into c we also know that omega equals to 2 pi into fc where fc is the cutoff frequency so we can represent fc in terms of rc as 1 upon 2 pi rc so fc equals to 1 upon 2 pi rc it is known as your cutoff frequency so for low pass filter cutoff frequency is the frequency up to which it, it is passing the input frequency and after which the frequencies are being blocked so when we plot this cutoff frequency part so for practical scenario this is practical scenario the y-axis will be amplitude of h omega the x-axis will be your frequency the point where the amplitude reaches 1 upon root 2 is your cutoff frequency so we can say that all the frequencies which are lying below your cutoff frequencies are getting passed through the filter or at least they are having half power delivered across the output and the frequencies which are coming after fc are being blocked these are the blocked frequency so that's why it is known as low pass filter because it is passing the lower frequency ranges and blocking the higher frequency ranges so in this case we can see that whenever we are having rc circuit and we are finding the output across this capacitor and applying voltages across this resistance and capacitor this is example of your rc low pass filter now just take the opposite case when we are taking capacitor first and then taking the resistance here scenario is slightly changed now we are finding the output across r and we are applying input at this side so first task is to find out the transfer function which will be h of omega it should be equals to v output upon v input for this case the v output will be output across r the input is capital input plus input across the resistance so it can be done like this r upon that c plus r or it will be equals to r upon 1 upon j omega c plus r So again the same task will be repeated first we have to find out the filter type so for finding filter type first put omega equals to 0 in your transfer function so the transfer function value whenever we are having omega equals to 0 1 upon 0 will be infinite infinite plus r it will be infinity again so we are getting h omega as 0 whenever we are having omega equals to infinite your h omega value will be equals to 1 so since it is clear that whenever we are having lower frequencies it is not having transfer function or nearly zero transfer function is obtained and when we are having very high frequency we are getting transfer function as one so this is example of your high pass filter because it is passing the higher frequency range again we have to repeat the same thing when whenever we have to find the cutoff frequency for this case so h omega will be equals to r upon r plus one upon g omega c or we can also reduce this function as r g omega c upon 1 plus r g omega c this normal multiplication of this 1 upon g omega term so when we are finding the amplitude of this term it will be equals to r square omega square c square in under root form divided by 1 square plus r square omega square c square in under root form again taking the same concept that whenever we are finding the cutoff frequency so for finding any cutoff frequency 
we have to first keep in mind that the value of h of omega amplitude should be equals to 1 upon root 2. Now when we keep this value equals to 1 upon root 2, squaring both the sides and doing cross multiplication, we will be getting 2 r square omega square c square, it will be equals to 1 plus r square omega square c square or we can say that omega equals to 1 upon rc value. So since your omega value is equals to 1 upon rc and now omega is angular frequency it will be equals to 2 pi fc so we can find out fc will be equals to 1 upon 2 pi rc again this fc is your cutoff frequency for high pass filter so when we are describing high pass filter on the graphical system so again we have to take frequency on the x axis and amplitude on the y axis so we have to keep a track of point where we are getting amplitude equals to 1 upon root 2 or it is nearly 0 0.707 so remember that this value is the amplitude ratio of v output upon v input so at this point this frequency mark will be fc and all the frequencies which are falling beyond the fc will be passed to the filter circuit and these frequency will be blocked which are falling below this fc so that's why it is known as high pass filter because it is blocking the low, lower frequency and it is passing the higher frequency values so if we are doing this circuit for a lab experiment so we have to keep one dso at this point that will be in parallel with R because we have to find out drop across this R and we have to apply one signal generator or function generator across the input side here so that we can find out the transfer function value and we will see that whenever we are slightly increasing the frequencies it is approaching to the cutoff frequency once cutoff frequency is reached the value of v0 upon v input it will be greater than 0 0.707 below cutoff frequency the value of v0 upon v in should be equal to 0 0.707 this for high pass filter this will be just reverse in case of your rc low pass filters now again take simple example of any rl filter we have to repeat the same steps what we have done in case of rc filter so suppose there is one inductor one resistance we are finding the output across inductor that is v output we are applying input across this side so the value of transfer function will be equals to v0 upon v input again the output is across the inductor it will be vl plus vr now representing in terms of zl it will be zl upon zl plus r or j into omega l upon j omega l plus r so for finding transfer function that whether it is a low pass filter or high pass filter divide both numerator and denominator by j omega l it will be 1 plus r by j omega into l so whenever your omega value will be equals to 0 this value is 0 r upon 0 will be infinite so h omega value will be equals to 0 whenever we are having omega equals to infinite so r upon omega value will be 0 so we will be getting h omega as 1 so now we can say that this is representing RL high pass filter. So again we have to repeat the same thing for finding the cutoff frequency. Again first be ready with the transfer function. So it was J omega L upon J omega L plus R. It should be equals to H of omega. Now for finding transfer function take the amplitude so omega square L square divided by omega square L square plus R square. It should be equals to what? 1 upon under root 2. So square both the sides and do the cross multiplication, you will be getting 2 omega square L square, it will be equals to R square plus omega square into L square. Now the value of omega will be equals to R by L. So again your omega equals to 2 pi into Fc, that is cutoff frequency. So the value of cutoff frequency will be equals to R upon 2 pi L. So you can say that for this circuit, we are having low pass filter, uh, sorry it is a uh, high RL high pass filter and for this RL high pass filter the cutoff frequency is R upon 2 pi L. 
for this RL high-pass filter, the cutoff frequency R upon 2 pi L. So if we find the transfer function of low-pass filter also, then we will be getting the same cutoff frequency. So in high-pass filter, we are obtaining output across inductor. So for low-pass filter, so just change the circuit inductor in the series here input voltage here and we are finding the output across this resistance so the first transfer function it will be equals to vr upon vl i am doing directly so this will be voltage drop across r not v into r it will be v into l plus v into r it will be r upon zl plus r so it will be r upon r plus j into omega into l it will be equals to f h omega so whenever your omega equals to zero the value of transfer function will be r by r it will be equals to one when omega equals to infinite the value of transfer function will be equals to zero so this is the simplest example of your rl low pass filter because it is passing the lower frequencies values and it is blocking the higher frequency for higher frequency we are getting zero transfer function Again, we have to repeat the same thing. Take the amplitude of h omega as 1 upon root 2. For this amplitude, it will be r square upon r square plus omega square l square. Do the cross multiplication and squaring both the sides, we will be getting omega equals to r upon f. Now, since omega equals to 2 pi f, so the cutoff frequency will be equals to r upon 2 pi l. So for rl low pass filter the cutoff frequency is again r upon 2 pi l so for both the cases so whenever we are having rc low pass filter or high pass filter the cutoff frequency comes out to be 1 upon 2 pi rc for rl this is rc for rl low pass filter or high pass filter the cutoff frequency comes out to be r upon 2 pi into l so this is for both high pass filter this again for both high pass filter and low pass filter so before starting filter the concept of impedance should be clear which i have started initially that for capacitance it will be 1 upon j omega c for inductor it will be j into omega l next the transfer function is required because we have to find out the type of filter as well as the transfer function so whether it is any complex circuit for first order, first try to minimize the circuits and find out the transfer function here. 